And we begin the news at 430 with a breaking news update on a South Memphis house fire. This afternoon, we're talking with the homeowners who say they were unaware the house they were planning to renovate had burned. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alex Coleman. April is off. As WREG's Jerita Patterson reports, the family says they poured money into buying the property and are now facing the cost of demolishing what's left of it. These tears falling down the face of Audrey Miller are literally a cry for help. I need help from the city probably to help me like tear it down. Ms. Miller is talking about her vacant College Street home, one she just paid property taxes on a few days back. It caught fire Thursday morning through no fault of her own. Yes, yes, yes. Calvin Hargrove lives a few doors down from the now badly burned house. He says although the home was boarded up, it was often a magnet for squatters. All across the winter months, they was going in and out of there. Unfortunately, someone was inside when the flames ignited, ushering in even more emotions to an already difficult situation. It's a shock, but it's also a disappointment. Ms. Miller's daughter, Zena, further explains. More than anything, I'm just hoping that whoever was there is okay. okay. Um, but outside of that, you know, it's like... Now, where do we go from here? As they know, because it's their property, this is now their problem. Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. So now it's to the point where, like I said, we can't go back in and, and rebuild that. What was supposed to be a family home. Getting the money to get all these materials together to build this house for the family. is now a dream that went up in flames along with the house. Sadly, this is not the first time something like this has happened in the South Memphis community. In fact, directly next door to the home that caught fire Thursday, this home, which was later leveled, also burned. In this case, someone died. Neighbors are telling us this is yet another reminder as to why they remain on high alert. And it's, it's scary. It's scary, you know. And heartbreaking seeing what you have sacrificed so much for destroyed in a matter of moments. I just need help. Reporting in South Memphis, Jarita Patterson, WREG News Channel 3. Now we're told one person was taken to the hospital in critical condition with burns to his arms and face. We have reached out to the city to find out more about the demolition, but we have not heard back.